anyways welcome to breezy's world i'm breezy today i am doing my one week postpartum video i'm going to show you guys what my tummy is looking like um just kind of update you guys on how i am feeling what actually goes down the first week and yeah because it's not what these celebrities make it to be so so i'm going to show you guys the real deal I really don't want to show my belly because it's so uh, but I, I really want you guys to see what it's like because a lot of people like my sister for instance she was like um this was the day after I had the baby was it the day it was this was the day I came home from the hospital so it was about two days after I had the baby and my baby sister was like I thought your belly was supposed to go back flat or go back all the way down like you still look like you're eight months pregnant and I'm like girl I'm not these celebrities that can get surgery done right after having a kid this is what it's really like and I'm like trying to explain to her just because you have a baby doesn't mean your stomach is going to automatically go back to flat no it depends on your body type everyone's body is different some people stomach actually do go back flat um, with no problems you will be like you had a kid are you sure like there's a lot of women their body is just naturally like that it just goes right back flat there's some women who body goes back flat faster than others those women a lot of them were active before getting pregnant they were active during pregnancy like as far as exercising women that breastfeed their bodies go back down quickly as well and then there's women who it's been a year almost a year and a half since they had a kid and their stomach is still you know they're still working on it i'm just here to share with you guys what it's actually like the first week before i do show you guys my stomach i do want to um just share with you guys like how i am feeling i have never left the hospital and felt like this before like i feel like my body is weak um i have been having this really bad abdominal pain like to where i was about to cry but you know i was trying to act like a little g because i don't want no one to see me cry but it was hurting to the point where i almost broke down and cried um it actually had me down on my knees because it was hurting so bad i have been very very active like moving a lot so i really think that's what it is they tell you no lifting anything other than the baby i've been breaking that rule um they tell you get a lot of rest i've been breaking that rule uh since i've been home i have been just like I have two other children, so I've been, you know, tending to them, uh, getting things done around the house, of course, taking care of the baby. The pain is really bad, so now I have learned my lesson, and I'm just like, I'm going to take it easy and ask for help and just wait till I fully recover before being all crazy like that. Uh, before I left the hospital, they did, they did prescribe me iron, stool softener, and also uh, Motrin. The Motrin is for the pain because, of course, you know, your uterus is going back to its place. And so you're going to get, like, cramping when you breastfeed. You get cramping. It's just, it's just painful. Like, it really feels like you're having contractions again. So that's what the Motrin is for. Still softener goes with the iron pill because I had, an, I was anemic during pregnancy. So they prescribed me iron pills. And so... When you take the iron pill, it kind of makes you constipated, so that's why they give you stool softener. TMI, I'm sorry, I'm just, you know, being honest with y'all. That's basically the update on me. I go to the doctor March 4th, so now I'm going to show you guys what my tummy looks like now. I really love you guys because, let me tell you, I was very hesitant about showing my belly, but this is what it looks like exactly one week after delivering. Everybody's body is different. I still have the dark line. My belly looks darker than it did ever. And yeah, this is a side view. And this is the real deal. This is what it honestly looks like. And then I feel like I got even more freckles. Like, what the heck? Oh, wait. Oh. This shit is not cute. 